Hello humans and animals alike, this is Dylus, and welcome back to Mother. So I'm deciding to grind a little bit before we get to the main event of, well, the main events of this episode. And so I've encountered a new enemy, the Tarantula. The Tarantula likes to uh, poison uh, your allies, just like with the uh, Scorpions. But other than that, they're not really that threatening. They can call for help, though, as you can see with it being on the side of the battlefield there. Um, let's do freeze beta. Yeah, nuts. Huh, you guys are hardy. All right, then, let's bring out the big guns, then. Nuts. Nuts! How much HP do these guys have? Okay, fine, then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's use Fire Alpha. Maybe I didn't need to use Defense Up Beta, but I just thought I should. Uh, okay, uh, you have some PP to absorb, right? Ah! Let's, uh, try that again. Poison doesn't seem to take into effect, uh, in battle, strangely. Okay, yeah, they don't have PP whatsoever, so... Yeah. Alright, I guess you'll just have to fight the old-fashioned way, Anna. One damage, yeah. That's our Anna. All right. Let's uh, use some uh, healing. I want to make sure I'm level 25. So I want to do that. I want to grind for a little bit until I hit level 25. That's my plan. Now, if I encounter another new enemy, I'll show that. But in the meantime, I'll be right back. Whew! I just barely leveled up. I actually was thinking of cutting it short because I realized how low on PP Anna is. I was playing with fire here. Alright, so... Now it's time for the main event. But first, I just want to let you know that... Anna learned a new Psy ability during the grind, Shield Off. So, uh, exactly what it says, Shield Off gets rid of shields, uh, casted based on, uh, casted from Psy power. So if anybody uses Psy Shield, you can use Shield Off to take it away, if you need to. I usually don't use it, but it may come in handy at times. Alright, there actually is some more stuff in the desert that I would like to, uh, look at, but I'll actually save that for a bonus episode. In the meantime, let's go down into the ruins of the desert. Be careful, a lot of the monkeys here like to lie. 
Well, what if you're the liar? I don't know. Alright, so yeah, this is a gigantic maze, but thankfully there are no encounters, no hazards. Just monkeys. It seems peaceful in here, but it's also way too dark. I mean, you could just go outside. Now, you never actually have to come into the, uh, monkey caves, as they might be called. Um, but they do have some helpful items. I'm a lady, you know. You shouldn't walk up to a lady so casually and start talking. Don't you agree? Nah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's uh, talk to you over there. I got some good information for you. You're interested? Yes. Well, basically, treasure your friends. That's all I have to say. I mean... That's kind of been the journey. I think you'll meet a new friend in a city with an ocean view. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Or you could be lying, who knows. Alright, let's go down here. Straight! Just walk straight! The truth is somewhere straight ahead. Well, I was go gonna go this way anyway. Ooh, some treasure. We get a size stone. There are actually three size stones in this uh, in this maze here, so that's definitely a reason to come here. It's free PP recovery without needing to use a healer. And this one contains the second size stone. How long has it taken you to get this far? Oh, I just thought I'd ask. I usually don't think about time passed, unless there's a timer. But uh, this game doesn't have a timer, so... Um... I'll check out that way, eventually, I guess. Turn back! Or if you don't feel like turning back, then just keep going. <laughs> sure. You managed to catch me? You're really something. Here's something nice for you. And he gives us a speed capsule. Yeah, that's definitely gonna go to Nintendo. Now, thankfully, we don't have to do any sort of, like, item play. Like, guessing which monkeys uh, want which items. That's the next game. But boy, that part of the game can get pretty annoying. Turn right and then left to find something nice. Uh, what about you? I don't trust any of the monkeys here. All they ever do is lie. Go right, left, left, and then right. I don't even know what they're talking about. Stop! You must not go this way! Too bad! Ooh. Now, doesn't this seem familiar? Yeah, there's another one of those mysterious XX conches. Yeah, if we investigate that, we don't need the great-grandfather's diary. We can just warp right to Magic Hand there. But I haven't explored the entire place here yet, so as I'm making my way around, let me read you an entry from Encyclopedia Mother that talks about this place. 
The monkeys who live in the underground ruins are said to be the descendants of the beloved pet of Professor Tompkin and his wife from Oxford's research team. As a way of getting back at people for leaving them in this basement, they apparently have a habit of lying when they see a human. There's also another thing there, but I won't spoil it just yet. Hubba hubba, heaven must be missing an angel! Uh, are you talking about Anna? She's a kid, what are you- No. <laughs> Don't assume that all monkeys are liars. I'm the boss monkey. It annoys me how the others lie all the time. Go straight ahead and you'll find the exit to your right. La 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 Oh, don't pay any attention to this melody. Yeah, that's not a melody we learn. You should quit playing. No! Oh. Oh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a monkey? Yes. I'm actually a tanuki, also known as a raccoon dog. I'm in disguise. Ooh. And, uh, what are you doing here? Boy, did I mess up. I must have made a serious mistake to wind up here. <laughs> Whoops. This isn't the penguin cave, buddy. This isn't penguin village. As for the lone penguin that got mixed up in this crowd, it seems to be the lost luggage of a penguinist from Asia who came here on a whim. And, uh, from, in from the translation of Encyclopedia Mother, um, Kenny Sue, uh, who's hosting the blog spot of the translation, made this footnote. This penguinist from Asia is most likely Shigesato Itoi himself, the creator of this game. In 1980, he released an album called Penguinism, and he calls himself a penguinist. So, that's pretty interesting. Alright, now I believe we're ready for... ...going to Magic Camp once again. Now, there's a reason why I wanted to be level 25. Oh, I gotta use telepathy again. Where is the God's Tale? We know the answer, and so we're teleported to Magicant. Alright, I'll tell you why I needed to be level 25 a little later. But for right now, I'm gonna need to do some preparation. So I'll be withdrawing some cash at the uh, fountain, I'll be sorting my items, getting everybody healed up, and I'll meet you when I'm ready. Okay, I'm back. So, for equipment, I shuffled around everyone's pendants a little bit. Uh, there's... There's going to be something coming up that we're going to need defense for all kinds of Psy abilities. Unfortunately, we kind of have to pick and choose, so... I just decided to give each person a different type of pendant. So, Ninten has the flame pendant, Lloyd has the rain pendant, and Anna has the earth pendant. I'm just deciding to go with that, and we'll be on our way. So, the place we want to go to is in the uh, Crystal Cavern. The, uh, Underflow. You may want a, uh, Repel Ring while you're going through here, because we will, of course, be encountering uh, the same enemies as we've already been encountering before in this place. So, remember this dragon from way back? Yeah, originally, Nintendo didn't have the power to wake it up, but when he's at level 25, he actually can wake it up. Now, a boss fight is going to ensue when we wake the dragon, so make sure you are prepared. Make sure you've saved in Magicant, which I have. 
You might want some really good uh, healing items, too. I have some medicine uh, on Lloyd and Anna. Although, it might be a good idea to give the me some medicine to uh, Ninten. Lloyd uh, is too slow to uh, use the medicine, though I think uh, the dragon here will outspeed anyone. Don't quite remember, but I'm just going to put that out there right now. Alright, let's check it now. The dragon sensed Nintendo's presence and awoke. No one weaker than me can have this sheet music. So, you're just guarding a piece of sheet music. What kind of dragon are you? Must be another one of those, like, symbols of merry sorrow or something. But anyway, the dragon has really good psi abilities, so we want to be extra careful. I think you could also physically attack, but I don't exactly remember. Alright, so we're going to spend the first turn preparing. We're going to use Psy Shield on Anna. Anna's safety is important. Um... I believe you actually can use the rope against the dragon, but uh, I'm not going to do that because it could trivialize the fight. Um, I don't think Flash Dark will work. Being bound up uh, isn't the same as being blinded. Like, it's not tied to the same stats. Um... Yeah, let's use a laser beam. And Anna will use Psy Shield Beta. What out a strange howl. Oh, it just decreases defense by a bit. Oh, you resist beam. Well, that kind of stinks. Alright then. Let's use uh, Offense Up on uh, Lloyd, then. Um, let's see. Huh. Now that I think about it, um, well, this will trivialize the fight if it does work, but I actually kind of want to see if... Uh, Psy block actually works. Ow! Okay, so you can do physical attacks. Alright, uh, Anna, use life up gamma. Actually, wait, let me go back a bit. I'll use, uh, Defense Up Beta. Lloyd, uh, you can attack. And Anna, Life Up Gamma. Oh, Fire Beta! Yeah, if you don't have a Psy Shield Beta up, uh, you're gonna have a very difficult time. Alright, let's see. Nintendo attack, Lloyd attack. Anna, you might want to heal yourself up. Yeah, if we're gonna go the offense route, I guess it would have to be, uh, we would have to use offense up. Uh, 
Um, why don't we check the dragon? I haven't been checking my enemies. I've been wanting to, but like, it wastes a turn. Yeah, strong against Sai. It appears to be holding a very important secret. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to see if Psy Block works. Alright, it works! Yeah, I don't think anybody's actually immune to, uh, Psy Block, so... That's actually really useful. Now all it can do is physically attack. And I might want to use Defense Up Beta again. Um... Yeah, Lloyd will do the, most of the fighting. Ow! Gee, that hurt! Yeah, Thunder Gamma can be pretty devastating. It's like 60 damage on all... all targets. I don't think it's that high, but it's, it's still pretty dangerous. Um... All right! And the dragon has become tame! Hooray! With no hesitation at all, the dragon showed its old sheet music. The song went like this. Nintendo learned the melody. So that is six out of eight melodies. All right. So we've done our business here. It's time that we just head out. Yeah, I'm still guarding against these guys. So you might be wondering, if you go out this way, wouldn't you be all the way back in Thanksgiving? Well, it doesn't really seem like it. The cave looks different, doesn't it? So does that mean the location where we've been dropped off is different? Find out next time on Mother. So with all that said, thank you for watching. This is Stylus signing off. See you next time.